All right, what's up, guys? I recorded, I recorded a video that was like 50 minutes long, and yeah, but and the audio was so far off, it was weird. So here I am, round two, trying to do a retake, and hope I did a couple test runs, and this time the audio was on sync. So hopefully this time it's on sync. If not, I am, I apologize if it ain't, but. Regardless, we're here in Colorado in the Peterbilt long and lower chassis. Uh, love this mod, along with my lights and shit. Uh, we're here in Sterling, and we're going to going from Sterling to Fort Collins up here that I have yet to be at. So why not? I the original video I did a video from Lamar all the way up up to Sterling here, but. Kinda had an issue with the audio thing being like off, so here is a retake and a little shorter video. Well, not really, kind of. I don't know, but regardless, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be interesting. So yeah, but anyways, uh, if you guys have yet to see it, uh, I'll up in that bot, up in the top right, I'll link, I'll link the video of the card. Uh, the, to the teaser video, uh, if if any if any of you guys actually pay attention or follow the American Trucks news, that uh, that they brought out a teaser of a new truck that's coming. A lot of a lot of people are saying it's freight, it's the new 2020 Freightliner Cascadia, and to be honest, I am on that train as well because it it just be really cool to see a Freightliner in another manufacturer. Uh, be brought to American Trucks, so like the Mac, uh, the Lone Star, and the Volvo and stuff. Because this game started with only two, was uh, either Peterbilt or Kenworth. That's it. Yeah, no other choice. And then they, and then they bring in, uh, I believe they bring in the Volvo next. After that, and I was hooked on that. And then they bring in the Lone Star, and then the Mac. And now, and now, hopefully, if everyone's correct. Uh, the Freightliner Cascadia. I think that'd be a badass truck to bring in. But I still say in my last episode with the Mac, Mac our Anthem release video, that I hope they bring in bigger chassis for the Mac, but with the sleepers and stuff instead of just the day cab. I prefer I I like day cabs and all, but I prefer sleepers as I do enjoy the long doing the longer routes. So, but anyways, let's get this going so it's not as long as a video and hopefully the audio <laughs> gets all messed up. So, let's get going. Um, we're in the long and lower uh, Peterbilt decked out with lights. I have a couple friends that don't like all the lights, but I love the lights. That's the whole reason why I have the lights because I enjoy it. Great truck. But what's your favorite truck on the game? What's your favorite setup? Do you use mods? If you use the base game, uh, if you use mods or whatever, if, or whatever, did, or what's your what's your truck setup? What what is it like? Just let me know down in the comments what you guys think about. Let me know down in the comments what you think of what the new truck is. Uh, and also, uh, what's your thoughts on Colorado? I saw that there was a lot of people having issues, whether it was like being not able to be in drive down, drive down, or can't discover the cities. The only issue I had so far is not being able to discover Durango, which I was able to figure that out later on. And yeah, it's all discovered now. And also, how many hidden roads have you guys found yet? Because I found three. I found three, and I'll give you a hint on one of them because they are the most badass one. The most badass one is the one in the northern part of the state. It's more central and more central north-ish west of the state, I would say. And it's a park. It's a state park, and you're able to drive through it. It's a hidden road, though. But it's amazing to drive through it. I actually have a couple screenshots that are in my Discord. If you want to see the screenshots just to kind of get an idea of what to look for, go ahead and head into my Discord. The link is down below. As well, if you want to join me during my streams, I also stream. I stream on the daily for the most part. I've been kind of 
slowly kind of taking a break not like a break break but just kind of not streaming as much because i've been streaming like almost every day since i started so but be sure to check out my youtube channel give it a follow um it's it's randall 153 official one word all lowercase and also if you're new to this channel um I do, I've been doing a lot more car X stuff, so if you like car X or whatever, or just like American Trucks or anything, or just want to just keep up up to date, feel free to subscribe and hit that notification so you can get, so you can be updated, and yeah, and also, comment down below and let me know what your thoughts about the game or in general, how long, how long have you been playing for, what's your favorite truck, what's your favorite state, you know. What do you think they should add? What I think, I think they need to add more backgrounds. To be honest, I think they need more small backgrounds, not like major backgrounds, like small backgrounds, like residential area kind of backgrounds or dirt, one-way dirt roads that are actually two-way roads, but but they're really like just, just narrow. I think that'd be so much fun. Just have more backgrounds. I love backgrounds. I don't like highways. <laughs> I really don't. So, but yeah. Uh, shit. So, how's everyone doing? discovered Durango so I was actually driving up and down the driving up and down the, the highway trying to discover Durango and I ended up having to uh, I had to go to my garage in Moab and drive south and hit uh, 160 highway or whatever I hit a highway that led into Durango south so I had to go east into Durango and I finally got discovered so <laughs> there's that not gonna be long as long as the video is the original one the original video was like 50 some minutes and that was doing speed limits and shit the speed limit and stuff and i'm doing the speed limit here i'm even going under the speed limit actually but you know slow slow traffic they don't know how to drive it's okay though just like really <laughs> oh my god yeah for those of you that don't know I'm actually planning on backpacking across the states, I'm waiting for a check to come in, so I'll go buy my bike, a trailer for the bike, and other stuff like medical kit, survival kit, tent, and other stuff that I will need, like tools, extra parts for the bike and stuff, and I am planning on going across the country. I'm planning on going to not every state, because there's some states I'm just going to avoid, because of all the bullshit. But for the most part, I did want to go across state adventure. Adventure to live in a tent. And shit, that'll be fun though. I'm going to have lots of fun. So, but that's if my check comes and I'm able to get my bike. I think I'm still waiting on the check. I was approved for it already, so I'm just waiting for it. But I'm sure this stupid election bullshit is kind of dragging it out maybe. Or they're just waiting for a uh, tax return whatever, Just mail it then, I don't know, I don't know, we'll see, but that's the plan this spring, if everything goes according to plan, because I'm not going about to go across country without anything I need, because I'm going to make sure I have some backup money, um, I gotta make sure I have food, water, survival gear, tent, everything that I would need to protect myself in 
be safe and not worry about if I'm gonna starve to death, you know. So I'm trying to be smart. Um, this is probably the longest I've ever lived in one area, and I'm used to moving around. So, but yeah, that's the plan. So. that say I should start like a Patreon or something to for don to set donations and stuff. Now you wanna do that. I don't think so. I think that I don't know. I just feel weird. I don't know. Like I have donations and stuff going on like it, it's uh my streaming channel but those are strictly donations for the channel to help better the stream and and whatnot. But at the but I just feel weird. <laughs> so I ain't gonna do a page or anything, but I'm gonna have like a bucket. My plan is to have a bucket uh, with a sign explaining to people what my plan is and what I'm doing, and if like donate like a quarter or whatever, I don't care, you know, some pocket change kind of thing. So just for like food and food and water, just the necessities, the stuff I need. That's all in the air. It's not set in stone yet. As I'm waiting on it, waiting on stuff. So, but yeah, there's that. I've been all over for the most part. I've been to South Dakota. I've lived in Wichita, Kansas. I've been to New Orleans, Louisiana. I've been in Florida, New York, North Carolina. Um, been to a lot of places, to be honest. Where been everywhere. Been to Canada. Been to a lot of places. There's a lot of stuff I want to see. As well, I want to see again. One of those see again is in South Dakota, Nebraska. I would love to see that again. I remember going that as a kid, my mother took me out, took me and my sister out there and stuff. It was so much fun. It was cool. Seen uh, like an Indian powwow on one of the reservations. I've uh, been to Crazy Horse Monument up in the Black Hills. Been, been to like, uh, there's this uh, museum out there, uh, 1880s town, I believe it's called. It's a museum. And the whole, and they, that town was used in uh, Dances with Wolves. If you're not familiar with that movie, go watch it. It's really awesome. Kevin Costner and a couple other big names are in it. Um, the horse that uh, Kevin Costner rode in that movie, I don't know if the horse is still there. I don't think so. But at the time, they had that horse at that museum. It was, it was pretty cool to see, to be honest. Pretty cool to see. And then, in, indoors, they actually had the movie props of what they used in the movie with the buffalo when they were, like, uh, catch like when they were hunting the buffalo in the movie, the robotic buffalo they used and stuff. It was it was really cool to see. And plus the 1880s town is real buildings from that time era that been preserved and, and shit. So they were legit real houses that they moved. Like they got it from different uh, locations, but they ended up moving those houses to this town, which created the 1880s town. It's so cool. You can, Gotta check that out. I think it's like 1880s town. I want to say it's 1880s. It could be something. It could be called something different. But I believe it was 1880s town. But it was just, it, it was pretty cool. I think it was in Nebraska too. If I'm not mistaken, it's either South Dakota or Nebraska. One of those two states. Pretty cool. If you haven't been there, go check it out. I don't know if it's open, but been so long. <laughs> been to Custer State Park. Uh, got to see some wild buff like buffalo and stuff. That was cool. But yeah, but that's my plan. That's what I want to do.
don't think I've been in here. I think I drove past it, and that's how I discovered it. I don't think I've actually been inside this city yet. Oh, I've been to the... Oh, I guess I have. I've been to the... Whatever you call that. Rest stop. Next time, I'll do some like uh, box box trailers. I've been obsessed with the low boys because of the new trailers and stuff here. Well, you know, own one now, so I have like five different variations of this trailer. Uh, I have two specifically for this truck, just because it looks badass with this truck, and. Then I got some legit ones that are for another truck. It's meant for oversized and heavy hauling and stuff like that. I have no clue where I'm 
figured out where they want it. I'm going to set Chris for this. we're awesome we are just awesome because we're that awesome <laughs> all right all right guys um thank you for watching if you made it this far if not then i guess you won't hear but anyways if you like it can't talk if you enjoyed the video please give it a like i really hope y'all i hope that wasn't playing in the background because i'm not redoing this video so, yeah. Yeah, I have my fan on, and I usually turn that off when I'm doing video or something. But anyways, sorry if you heard that. If not, at least I'm known for next time. But regardless, you guys have a good day, good night, wherever you guys are in the world. Until next time, we see you. Oh, wait, 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 wait. If you're new, please give it a... <laughs> Alright. If you're new, and you enjoyed the video, and you want to see more content, or even just, you know, just want to chill, um, please give it... Please subscribe and hit that notification and comment down below and let me know what you think, uh, what's the new truck, if you found like hidden roads and issues that you came across that, you know, to look out for, whatever. But other than that, uh, yeah, just let me know. Just let me know what you guys think, okay? That's what the comment section is for. And, yeah. But other than that, you have, guys have a good day, good night, wherever you guys are in the world. You guys stay vicious. Until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye bye. Also, go check out my Twitch channel. Peace. Bye, guys.